Where? Hi everybody, Laura here. Um, I thought today we would do a should I or shouldn't I, which is, you know, which should I keep the books or shouldn't I keep the books? Which one should I keep? Which one shouldn't I keep? There ain't that many. And what I thought I would do is also do a, um, a try a chapter. So I'll be doing a video on a try a chapter. I'll probably do like, I don't know how many are here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I think yeah there's eight so I might read like four of the books and try and, then, and do a try a chapter and then do a video for the first four and then the next four and then do a try a chapter for that one for those four so yeah unless you guys tell me I should actually get rid of it but then I'll just get rid of it some of these are you probably have heard of and other ones you might not have I don't know so the first one is um can't even remember what half of these are about. The Netherin, Nethergrim, something like that, by Matthew Jobin. It says, when magic sleep, darkness awakens. An ancient, unimaginable darkness has awoken, and it's, it is hungry. Only Edmund, Catherine, and Tom stand in sway. At stake is not just the lives, but the lives of everyone they love. Let the battle begin. Now, I don't know some of these books. This one I don't think I did as a, um, I'm not sure if I want it, but a couple of the books they are like you know and a couple of them I were going to unhaul and don't know if I want to unhaul it so yeah so this one says the people of Moraville put their faith in the legend the knight Tristan and the wizard Vargric something like that an epic battle had defeated the evil Nethergrims that faith is shaken when live livestock go missing only to turn up at a as a pile of bones but when it's a group of children disappearing that they know for sure the nether grim has returned edmund's brother is one of the missing and edmund knows he must do something to save his life but what through a through through a student of magic he struggles to cast even the simplest spells still he had his friends follow their fare and set out to battle an ancient evil whose power powers none of them can imagine in a story reminiscent of ranger's apprentice and chronic of narnia matthew jobin weaves reality magic and adventure into the next great fantasy phenomenon it sounds like it's gonna be good but i just don't know so i want to know if anybody's read it if you think i should read it based on the blurb, you know, or because it, it Ranger Apprentice and the Chronic Conardia, you know. So, yeah. The next two, I know for sure you guys heard me have. Um, I'm not sure if I want to keep Ox and Ivory by Mindy Arnett. Belinda, Monsters, Magic, and Romance. Oh, Trader Kate. I remember kind of a little bit about this book, but not that much. Yeah. I know I started reading it, but it's been so, I mean, like when it first came out, so I don't remember nothing about it. So, yeah. So I'm wondering what you guys think about this one. Should I or shouldn't I? I know that there's like creatures in here and, um,. One, like, they get attacked or something, and he's the only one that survives, and she has to nurse him or something, and they knew each other in the past or something like that. Okay, he condemned her father to death. Something. So, yeah, there's that one. And then this one. Well, this one I'm really torn between because I've heard so many amazing things about it. So I kind of want to keep it, but I kind of don't want to keep it at the same time. But yeah, a couple of these are book boxes too. So I don't know if I should give them a chance because, you know, they came from book boxes, you know. But this one is, she's a, no, I forget how you say that word. You know, where she could raise the dead. And I guess her name's Odessa. And I guess what happens is one of the uh, ones that um, come back or something something happens or something. I can't remember exactly. Let me see. Oh, okay, they have to be shroded. Shroded? How do you say that word? And if if even 
if, if any of their um, you know skin is exposed then they can turn into a terrifying a terrifying bloodthirsty shade so yeah sounds like it would be interesting and I just don't know no. did anybody read this do you guys did you guys like it should I read a chapter to decide or just get rid of it another book box one I'm trying to get rid of a few book box ones the Super Villain and Me by Daniel Bannis. Never trust a guy in spindex. Says, who are you? The stranger's green eyes snapped to my own. He wore a black suit. His mask revealed only his eyes, his lips, and a portion of his jawline. Unlike Connor, the guy didn't have a symbol plastered to his chest. I thought I told you to run, he said, crossing his arms. He was about as tall as my brother. Easily cleared six feet feet and possessed just as many if not more muscle bulging under the dark material of his costume how did you wait that was you in my vo my head i had to admit he had a nice voice deep and smoky i wondered if it was real or a disguise the super winked at me and tapped the side of his head with his index finger i don't know mind to mind communication was a light legitimate superpower. Connor frequently gushed at other superpowers and would have told me if someone had such a unique ability. Okay, well, I don't know what else to say. I wish Connor was there to fly me home. I couldn't ask this guy to escort me. I had no clue who he was. I'll be just, I'll be going now. Don't I get a thank you? In Abby's Hamilton's world, Superheroes do more than just stop crime and save cats stuck in trees. They also drank milk straight from the carton and hog the television remote. Abby's older brother moonlights as a famous red comet, comic, but without powers of her own, following in his footsteps has never crossed her mind. That is until the city's newest vigilante comes bursted into her life. After saving Abby from an attempted mugging, Morristons? Legion super villain Iron Phantom convinces her that he's not as evil as everyone says and that their city is under a vicious new attack. As Abby follows him deeper into the city's darkest secret, she comes to learn that heroes can't always be trusted and sometimes it's the good guys who wear black. Sounds like it'd be funny, but I just don't know, you guys. With all the other books I have, I just don't know. Should I or shouldn't die? Now, a couple of these I just bought. The last three of these four that I'm going to show you now I just bought. But I was in the mood for them when I bought them. But now I don't know if I will actually ever read them. And one of them I talked about. You'll see which one I'm talking about. That really was confusing to me. And that one I'm almost positive. I'm like, shouldn't die. <laughs> but the next one is What Doesn't Kill Her by Christina Dobb. Or dad when I got this it looked so interesting and so intriguing but when I was starting to go through my shelf because I'm if you saw Holly Hart's video she's um she's doing where if she hasn't um, read a book she turns it this way for you the spot you know that part shows so I was going through that and I found these eight and just still don't know if I should keep them on my shelf <laughs> to try to read. But I don't know when I'll get to these. That's another thing. Because I got so many other ones I want to read. Like if I, if I decide to, um, to keep certain ones. Then I probably won't get to them until probably like. Mm, at least not for like three to four months. Now this is the one where she's. One of them is real I think or. Okay, one secret, one nightmare, one lie. You guess which is which. So, you gotta decide. Okay, number one is I have the scar of a gunshot on my forehead. Is it one secret? Is it one nightmare or one lie? Two, I have willfully misrepresented my identity to the U.S. military. One secret, one nightmare, one lie. You guess. 
and I'm the new mother of a seven-year-old girl. One secret, one nightmare, one lie. You guess which is which. So, yeah. And then at the end it says, What doesn't kill her had better start running. So, I don't know. Like I have other mysteries or thrillers, whatever you want to call it, that intrigue me more. But, I don't know. It kind of sounds interesting. Should I or shouldn't I? And then we got Witchlands by Lena Corkley. It says, high in the mountain coverings, red witches pray to the goddess, protecting the witchlands by throwing the bones and foretelling the future. It's all fake. At least that's what Ryder thinks. He doubts the witches really deserve their life. Life? How you say it? One quarter of all the crops his village can produce. And even if they can predict a future, what danger is there to be foretold now that his people's old enemy, the Bane, have been defeated? But when a terrifying new magic threatens both his village and the coven, coven rioter must confront all the beautiful and silent witch, witch. Confront the beautiful and silent witch who holds all the secrets. Everything he's ever believed about witches, the Bane magic, and himself will change when he discovers that the prophecy he always scorned are about him. It does sound kind of interesting, but I don't hear people talk about this series. So I don't know, like, if it's a popular book or if it's non-popular. I don't really want to go on to Goodreads because I don't want to, you know, like, get spoiled because I know I'll go in there and read spoilers if I go there. So, if you've read this, should I or shouldn't I? Nowhere Girl. I got the wrong one with this one. I thought it was the other Nowhere, Nowhere Girl. Like, there's another one that's really popular, and I thought it was that one. But I found out after I bought it that it wasn't. So now I'm not sure if this is the one I want, if I want to read it, because it was not the one I was thinking it was. It says, even after Savannah's murder, twin Katie and Savannah share an unbreakable bond. It says, um, in an abandoned house, 16-year-old Savannah Morito, Marito, Marint, Maritono, something like that, is strangled to death. The police rule Savannah's murder a random attack of opportunity, which prompts her, sm her small New Jersey town to set a curfew and cancel football games. Isolated and afraid, Savannah's sister, Caddy, continues to communicate with Savannah through dreams. Caddy knows Savannah in ways no one else did. The beautiful, ethereal twin everyone thought was an angel was actually on the road to self-destruct. Years later, a chance encounter while Caddy is researching her latest novel coincides with an unexpected call from the one- once rookie cop on Savannah's case, Patrick Turney, now a detective, who tells Caddy that Savannah's case has been reopened, through new evidence, it has through new evidence it has been determined that Savannah's death wasn't a random attack, and that whoever killed her sister loved her. Despite years of interviewing convicted killers, profiles, and psychiatrists, some of that, yeah. For her best-selling thriller, Caddy isn't prepared for the revelations that someone close to her could have killed her sister. Caddy is drawn into a labyrinth of deception and betrayal, reaching all the way back to her childhood that will force her to find the strength she never knew she had in order to face the truth. So, should I or shouldn't I? And the last one is probably going to be a shouldn't I because... Uh, I tried reading it, and this is the one I was talking about. Like, I just bought this, too. But if I would have known it was going to be like this, I wouldn't have bought it. But it's one of those ones where, like, one person is, like, kind of telling the story, and just weird. Like, I know, um, like, what is that one? The Name of the Wind? It's something like that, you know? But Name of the Wind one, at least, I can understand. And it has, like, you know, like, it ends on certain chapters. Like, this one don't have chapters. It just has the raven on it. And I guess that's the next, supposed to be the next chapter. I don't know. It's confusing. I just think this one is definitely going to be...
shouldn't I? But let me know if you've read it, should I or shouldn't I? And those are it. Which of those books should I and which of those books shouldn't I? Or should I not, shouldn't I do any of them? <laughs> but yeah, let me know down in the comments. Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, if you tell me that I should try it, then I will do a try a chapter. Besides the Raven one, because I already read a chapter. So if you think I should try it and it gets a little bit better, or it gets more where you can follow along, then let me know and I will keep trying to read it. But if it's going to be like where it's you don't understand it at all, then let me know that too and then I'll just get rid of it. But I'm definitely leaning more towards getting rid of that one. So yeah, just let me know if you read any of them, if you haven't read any of them, what you think. Yeah, I'm just really curious. But yeah, I think that is it for now. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. If you do subscribe, remember to hit that beautiful bell icon so you know ever know when so you will know if I can talk whenever a video of mine is being uploaded or is already uploaded, I should say, for your viewing pleasure. Remember, I love you guys all. If you ever need a thing, just comment down below. I'm always here for you guys. Even if I'm not feeling good like today, I still will comment and get back to you. I love you guys so much. Yeah. So, should I or shouldn't I? Bye for now.